everyone present here uh, i'm sangeetha lakshmi working as assistant professor in ec department at rmk college of engineering and technology so we are going to discuss about the subject fcpa architecture and applications in this unit 3 is building blocks of fcpa as well as cpldc so today we are so now we are going to see the commercially available fpga that is field programmable gate array uh, we all know that in fpga it contains three uh, basic elements one is programmable logic 12 right the second one is programmable wire or interconnect and third one is called as io block okay so in this um, actual fpga it is based on a multiplexer the programmable basic cell is mainly depends on the multiplexer okay so here they are using the 2 is to 1 mux in a tree like structure okay so the different types of logic modules um is available in different version in first actual one version they are using the programmable basic logic cell is called as logic module the name is given for the programmable logic cell by the actual fpga vendor is l logic module so in this this logic model can be reconfigured to act as combinational circuit as well as sequential circuit so the same logic model can be um, programmed into perform combinational as well as sequential circuit the next actual 2 as well as actual 3 version in the separate a uh, module can be used for combinational logic circuit and s module can be used to uh, configure the sequential logic circuit similarly actual 3 also separate modules are used to reconfigure the combination as well as sequential logic circuit but why we are going from actual 1 to actual 2 as well as actual 3 means in this logic module in actual 1 version same module can be reconfigured to act as combination as well as sequential suppose if you want to um, program this logic model to perform the flip flop means we need to use the two lm modules right so we have to use the two lm modules if you are correcting these two lm modules then only it will act as a flip flop right so this wire will leads to delay right so to overcome this delay we have to use the actual 2 as well as actual 3 version in which we are using the separate c module as well as s module see in this actual fpga you can see here um this actual act 1 that is version 1 having the channeled gate array base that is channeled gate array the chip is based on the channeled gate array that means the horizontal lines having many, uh, many number of logic modules but in between two horizontal lines there will be a white space which is nothing but the channel right this channel can be used to uh, make the connection between the two logic modules okay so in each module having three multiplexer see inside this logic module we have the three multiplexer that is 3 2 is to 1 mux we have that is mux 1 mux 2 as well as mux 3 right and the first mux the inputs are a not and a1 with a select line of yes a the output is f1 Similarly, second multiplexer, the inputs are B not, B one, select line is S B, and the output is F two, right? And third multiplexer, the input is F one here, and F two here. The select line S yes, can be generated by the two inputs S not and S one. The output of the OR gate will provide you the control signal S three, which is nothing but F, right? so the final lm model having the output of yes see 2 is to 1 mux first of all how this 2 is to 1 mux can be performed see if you are taking the multiplexer you have the two inputs one output with the select line is we can call it as yes 
right? So two inputs A and B, the output is Y. See, when select line is zero, the output will be connected to the input A. When select line is one, the output is connected to the input B. Okay. So this based on the select line, you will be having output. So select line is zero, Y equal to A. When select line is one, the output is B. So what is the function of Y is? It is A into S bar plus B into S. S as well as S bar are control signals. So we have to use the two NMOS transistor, right? One control signal is S and another one is S bar. Both the output we have connect together that is called output Y. The transistor which is having the control signal S is, we have to give the input as B. The input to the transistor which is having the control signal S bar is A. Okay. So how it is performing the is MUX operation is I told you when select line is 0 the output equal to A. How it is performing is you can see here my input um, my select line is if it is 0 S bar is definitely it is 1 right. So S equal to 0 means this is the NMOS transistor. You know that NMOS transistor if we make it on means we have to give the 1 at the gate right so here we are giving the s equal to 0 there is this transistor in off condition here s bar equal to 1 that control signal is given at the this n mass transistor thereby this is on through this transistor the a will be connected at the output side because it's like a switch right similar way if we input that is select line is 1 that time what happened this transistor will goes on and this will be off through this transistor, the B will be connected at the output side. So, this is the operation of 2 is to 1 mark. Okay. So, each mark um, requires 2 N mark transistor. Okay. So, in this, we have to um, generate the S and S bar. See, if you want to generate the S bar signal, we need the inverter. If the input of the inverter is S, means the output of the inverter is S bar. So, each mark is required 2 N mark transistor one inverter so here uh, lm model consists of three two is to one mux so this is the m1 mux required two uh, n mass transistor one inverter similarly m2 transistors required two n mass and one inverter and for the uh, third m3 it requires two transistor plus one mux so totally six N mass transistor with the three inverters required along with that one R gate is required right one R gate two input R gate is required this is the construction of LM module okay Actually, in Actal 2 and Actal 3, see here the previous we have seen the Actal 1 version. How we can program this Actal 1 for any kind of Boolean function we have seen. Okay. So, here we are going to see the Actal 2 as well as the Actal 3 version. Here, I told you no Actal 2, it uses the separate S module as well as C module. Right. It is used to um, program the combinational logic circuit. Whereas S model can be programmed to act as a sequential logic circuit. Okay. See, um, the C model is common for both Actal 2 as well as Actal 3 version. The C model is common for both the version. Right. But for uh, Actal 2 as well as Actal 3, separate S model we have to use. See the difference between the C model and S model. In the um, both the cases, we have the 4 is to 1 mux, right? The data, it is 4 input data, right? 1 output, it is 4 is to 1 mux with the 2 control signals because we have the 4 inputs. So, 4 inputs means we need 2 power 2. So, 2 control signals are required. So, 2 control signals are yes 1 as well as yes 0 okay, right? So, the S0 control signal is produced by the AND operation with A0 and B0 and S1 is um, generated by the OR operation of A1 and B1, right. So, in this uh, C model can be used to 
reconfigure any kind of function. Whereas in S model, you can see here also it uses the uh, 4 is to 1 mark, right? 4 inputs and 1 output. Here also the same S1 can be produced by R operation of A1 with B1 data. But here the uh, difference is you can see here the S0 is produced by the two signals, one is A0 and another one is not B0 instead of that they are using clear signal. Okay, so you will be having the S0. Here also we need two control signals, S1 and S0. Separate clock is given to the sequential element, right? Sequential element means it is nothing but the memory element, right? So why it is called sequential element means definitely without this um, memory elements, the operation will not be sequenced. So sequencing the operations, we need some memory elements. That's why the memory elements are also called as sequencing elements. Okay. See here, the output of the marks is given to the uh, sequential element. It may be a flip-flop or latch. The output is P. We know that sequential circuit is nothing but the combinational circuit plus memory element. This is called sequential circuit. Right? So, this whole thing is combinational plus sequential element. You are getting the sequential circuit output. So, this model can be reconfigured to act as a sequential logic. Okay. So, this is the separate model for actor 2. This is separate model for actor 3. What is the main difference between these two? You can see here um, similar to C module A0 and B0 can be used to and um, to make the S0 signal. Right. And clear is directly given to the uh, sequencing element as well as clock also given here. Okay. So, this is the major difference between S module and S module of actor 2 as well as actor 3. Why they are going for actor 2 and actor 3 versions means in the, the drawback of the actor 1 is see here if you want to configure the that is if you want to program the flip flop means we have to use a 2C module. So, we have to make the connection between the 2C module which will create the parasitic delay. So, this pa uh, para uh, delay will be increases, right? So, in order to overcome this delay, they are using the separate uh, C model and S model for the actor 2 as well as actor 3 version. Clear? Thank you.